Hello friends, already in my previous video I have discussed in detail about the DC blocking property of the capacitor. Also I have shown you the multi-sim simulation. If you have not seen, you just check the link given in the description, okay? So that explanation that is the DC blocking property of the capacitor I have explained with respect to the impedance offered by the capacitor. That is you know from the fundamentals of electrical circuit that the impedance of the capacitors is nothing but J equal to 1 by J omega C and for DC wave form omega equal to 0 right. So if you substitute that J will be equal to 1 by J into 0 into C that will become infinity. So the impedance offered by the capacitor when we are applying DC voltage is infinity. Impedance infinity means what? Open circuit. Open circuit means no current will flow. That means what? That the capacitor will block the DC signal. Now in this video instead of explaining with respect to impedance offered by the capacitor let me explain with more fundamental concept of the capacitor. That is you know that the basic formula of the capacitor Q is equal to C into V. That is this formula came from where you know charge proportional to applied voltage charge storage proportional to applied voltage in a uh, conducting metal that is Q proportional to V and if you apply some proportionality constant you will get Q is equal to C into V where C is the capacitance. Now what you do you just take derivative in of this expression with respect to T and you will get dQ dt equal to C dV dt. Capacitance is constant so that it will come outside of the integration as it is okay. So dQ dt equal to C dV dt. Now you know from the fundamentals of electrical circuit that I is equal to dQ by dt right or I equal to dQ dt. So uh, uh, apply that or substitute dQ uh, dt by I and you will get this expression that is I is equal to C dV dt okay and in my this video I am going to explain the DC blocking cap property of the capacitor with this with respect to this formula okay. I hope up to this you have understood. So let us try to solve an example before understanding the DC blocking property of the capacitor then this is example 1 and the question is determine the current I flowing through the capacitor if the capacitance value C is equal to 2 farad okay and the voltage graph is given like this. This is obviously one AC signal which is oscillating in between 5 volt and minus 5 volt that is the amplitude is 5 volt D of T with respect to T is given. Now you know that I is equal to C dV dt so obviously this is sine wave so derivative will be cosine wave okay. So if this is 5 sine T then the derivative will be 5 cos t and c i is equal to c dv dt that, that means the capacitance value will be multiplied okay so if, if the, here the capacitance is 2 farad it is given in the question right so 2 dv dt and if v is equal to 5 sin t dv dt will be uh, 5 cos t and multiplied by 2 it will be i is equal to 10 cos t right that means the current versus time graph will be one cosine signal whose amplitude is 10 volt because the capacitance 2 farad is multiplied with the derivative of the input applied applied input voltage. So we are getting this type of AC current which is oscillating in between 10 volt and minus 10 volt and it's uh, it is one cosine signal because the input voltage is sine signal okay. I hope up to this you have understood just what we have done. We have applied uh, this uh, formula which we have derived that is I is equal to C dV dt in this example. Now let us take the second case that is example 2. Suppose the voltage applied across the capacitor is V of T is equal to 2 into E to the power minus of 5T volt and the capacitor value is given by 5 millifarad this small m for stands for milli okay f for farad right so i of t is equal to c dv dt now capacitance value is 5 millifarad that is 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 farad because 1 millifarad equal to 10 to the power minus 3 farad now you multiplied by d dt of the voltage v of t is 2 into e to the power minus 5t right that's what i have written here 2 into e to the power minus 5t now if you sorry now if you take differentiation 2 will come outside d dt of e to the power minus 5t is minus 5 into e to the power minus 5t now if you solve this by calculator you will get i of t is equal to minus of 50 into e to the power minus 5t milliampere 
okay so i hope up to uh, with respect to these two example you have understood clearly how to apply this formula that is i is equal to c dvdt okay where v is the voltage applied across the capacitor and if we know the capacitor value then we can able to calculate what is the current flowing through the capacitor right now both the example 1 and 2 we have considered uh, voltage applied as ac signal now let us consider one dc signal and this is the example 3 okay suppose v of t is 5 volt throughout the whole time okay that is v of t is 5 volt dc now you calculate the current flowing through the capacitor that is i of t equal to c dvt dt and d dt of 5 we have to apply because v of t is 5 volt because this is dc signal with amplitude of 5 volt from the graph it is clear so i of t is zero why because d dt of constant is zero right you know this basic things from the calculus so i of t is equal to zero that means what capacitor allows no current to flow through it capacitor allows no current to flow through it for dc voltage okay that means capacitor will block the dc signal okay in this way also from the fundamental formula also you can derive that capacitor blocks dc okay and let us from this let us try to solve one example for which is going to be very easy and the question is determine the current flowing through a 5 millifarad capacitor in response to a voltage of v equal to minus 20 volt so obviously this voltage is nothing but dc voltage right so v equal to minus 20 volt it is not changing with respect to time that means it is dc voltage so as we are applying dc voltage and you know that capacitor allows no current to flow through it for dc voltage so no doubt the answer is going to be 0 ampere okay because applied voltage is dc voltage i hope with this four example the concept is clear that is why capacitor blocks dc this is very important concept with respect to electronics and communication engineering okay this is all for my this video uh, just i want to mention one uh, funny incident uh, some days before i got one uh, meme in whatsapp that is why ac current passes through capacitor and uh, dc is blocked so this one kind of funny expression uh, funny explanation that is here uh, parallel plate capacitor is taken and as there is air gap or insulator in between two conducting plates so what will happen dc current will come and it will reflect back okay and ac is like sinusoid right so it will pass in this way so don't believe in this explanation obviously take it don't take it seriously this is only meme already see you can see a meme page to check every time uh, matlab like that so this meme came uh, to my whatsapp once so i thought uh, to share with this uh, share this meme with you also so the original explanation is nothing but the i is equal to c dvdt and dvdt equal to 0 for if v is equal to one dc signal that's why current equal to zero okay i hope you have understood this concept this is all for my this video thank you for watching